Hi everyone, my name is Andrea and I'm currently a junior at Harvard studying psychology. And today we'll be talking about writing the college essay. So when I was writing my college essay, I remember looking online and seeing all these picture perfect essays that were quirky and funny and they sound really smart and all these really amazing characteristics. And I was like, okay, I want my essay to look like that. The issue, however, is that I just didn't know how to get there. I knew where I wanted to end, but I didn't know how to start or any of the path in between. And so hopefully that's what we're gonna be helping you address in this video today. Part one, choosing your topic. So unlike an essay that you might have written in the past, the college essay is a little bit different in that you can write about quite literally anything as long as it fits into the 650 word limit um, that the college application imposes. This means that it's up to you to really figure out, is there a specific story that you want to tell? Is there a specific trait about yourself that you want to make sure that you show to the admissions office? Um, what is it exactly that you're trying to get across? A really critical question that you can start asking yourself is, what makes you happy to write? If there's a story or a quality or a trait that you think that you can really talk about that makes you really proud and really happy to write, that means that it's probably a really good sign that this is something that the admissions office should see about you. And so once you start getting to this general realm, then there's this feeling of like, okay, now there's so much that I could write about. How do you really focus it back down to the 650 word limit and make sure that again, at the end of the day, this is very uniquely your own essay. Part two, writing the draft. So once you figure out what it is that you want to say, the question is, how do you actually go about writing it? A big thing that you're going to have to think about is structure. So unlike things that you may have written for class before, you really want to try to break out of that five paragraph essay structure where you have the introduction, the conclusion, and three body paragraphs um, that match one to one with your thesis. In this case, you want to be a little bit more freeform. And to help encourage this sort of freeform writing, there are a bunch of different tools, including but definitely limited to things like word webs, where you start with one word and essentially just free associate a bunch of different ideas of words that are really like any in any way just related to the word that you or the topic that you have at hand. Another thing that you could possibly do, which is something that I actually had chosen to do myself, is essentially just get down all the ideas that I could potentially have about this idea or this topic um, onto paper just so that I could come back later and reference it again um, and potentially reiterate and maybe even revise it to the point where it'd be good enough to actually submit. Something that I have always really stressed when I'm thinking about these sort of essays is that you have to write the bad drafts first before you can get to anything good. Everything that's online, for example, none of those um, started out the way that they are when you see them online as the accepted essays, blah, blah, blah. So another thing that you wanna think about is just your voice. You just wanna make sure that your essay sounds really authentic to who you are, that this is a story that you can only tell in your way. Your admissions officer should be able to tell what kind of person you are and how you like to approach the world um, in a greater sense. Part three, proofreading and submitting. Now that you've done your draft, you might be at a point where you just need an extra set of eyes on it. And so something that we always recommend people do is to ask someone that they trust to take a look at your essay and offer any advice or feedback that they might have. So this could be a parent, this could be a teacher, uh, a sibling, or a friend. Anyone that you think would be able to offer you honest feedback on what you've written in hopes of making it better. That being said, you want to make sure that what you're submitting to the missions office is your own work um, and it's something that you're really proud of. And if that means scrapping your first draft or your first essay, that's also completely okay. This is meant to be an iterative process. And again, no one's gonna get there to the final product within a moment or within just one draft. At the end of the day, the application essay is an opportunity for you to reflect on yourself and provide an authentic story to the admissions office. If you follow these steps, you'll be well on your way to perfecting your college application essay. If you have any other questions or want any more advice, on the college application essay or around the college application in general, we highly encourage you to reach out to us at the Harvard Undergraduate Admissions Council on our website, which you can find at the link below. We at the Undergraduate Admissions Council are made up entirely of current students, and we love talking to prospective students both about our own application processes, why we chose Harvard, and then also our experiences here. So if you have any questions at all, please, please feel free to reach out, and we're so excited to hear from you. Thank you for watching. Good luck with your application, and make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> I feel like such a YouTuber. This is this is really exciting. I'm not a true YouTuber until you tell them to smash the like button. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. Smash the like button. <laughs>